Another round of talks between delegations from Russia and Ukraine ends without any indication two sides are any closer to a peace agreement as Russian troops are closing in on several key cities, including the capital, Kyiv. The violence is just forcing hundreds of thousands from their homes, as we've been seeing. And Jay Gray is live again this morning from the border between Ukraine and Poland with the latest on the war and the growing refugee crisis there. Jay, what are you seeing this morning? Yeah, we are right along the Polish border right now at Badika, the busiest uh, border crossing. And, and what we're seeing is that the pace may change at times. More people may be moving in, less. Uh, one thing's certain, though, it's not stopping hundreds of thousands still moving in to Poland to escape the violence in their homeland. Fire and rubble, remnants of towns and villages from attacks targeting Ukraine cities around the clock. A missile taking out this apartment building in Kyiv. Still, those on the ground in the capital city refuse to give in. We have uh, dozens of thousands of people just in Kyiv in civic guard. And if they will penetrate the city, we will make hell here for them. So they could not take Kyiv. Americans and other foreign fighters joining Ukraine soldiers and citizens on the front lines. If this isn't the fight of democracy and freedom against autocracy of, of our generation, I don't know what is. But as warriors move in, women and children continue to rush out. Save us children, please. Please. More than two and a half million escaping UN monitors saying many literally shell-shocked by what they've come through to get to the border. They just uh, are scared, and the first thing they're asking while crossing the border is, please tell me that there are no shootings here, please tell me that there are no bombings, do you have these uh, sirenas, please tell me that we are in security zone. Security that comes in a place far from home, with no idea when or if they'll make it back. Yeah, and look, millions of families expected, Dave, to continue that journey over the next several weeks. This is just something that's going to keep uh, growing and growing here at the Polish border. Yeah, unfortunately. Jay, many of those that are stranded and homeless in Ukraine right now, what more do you know about that? Yeah, look, you, you've got more than six million people who don't have a place to go home right now. They are out, uh, many losing their homes to uh, bombings or missile attacks. And so you've got to figure they're going to join these crowds uh, moving in as well. And you've got the bombing to the far west over the weekend, which may begin to push some of those who've been uh, comfortable in Lviv to this area as well. Staggering number. Okay, Jay Gray, thank you for the live report this morning.